So we're going to have a go at making this in Reality Composer today. Um, fun little kind of takeoff uh, plane, um, which was, we're going to go through the basics and actually go through a full tutorial. So I'm going to open up uh, Reality Composer here. You can see a whole range of different things. Um, first thing we're going to do is we'll just close that down. So up the top, you can actually um, look at all the different things and open them up and close them, which is quite nice. We're going to hit the plus and we're going to import a little model. Now there's lots of great models here, but if we go to this website, if I can just show you at the top, this developer.apple, up the top here, uh, if you type in augmented reality and quick look, you can actually access all of these great little models and it's really easy on your iPad to download. You basically just hold your finger down and you can see there it says download linked file on the right um, and that will automatically kind of transfer over. So when I go up here and I go to import, you can see here I've got some recent ones and I'm actually going to use this uh, toy plane. So I'm going to click on that once and then tap that to bring it in. And you can see there it's kind of um, facing me. So I can actually with two fingers, I can kind of zoom around and look at things in different angles and so forth. So what we're going to do is in AR here, we're actually going to um, set some behaviors to this so that it actually takes off and goes with a little bit of an animation. And it's really easy to do, guys. First thing we're going to do is just hit this top one here and actually look at the different things that we can modify. So we can kind of raise it up and down off the ground. Um, we can move it to the side and do a range. We can kind of scale up and scale down a little bit. Um, but what's important is we can actually also apply some physics there as well. So we can actually say, um, what do we actually want this to do at the moment? It's fixed, but we can make it dynamic and do some different things with it, which is pretty cool. Um, we don't actually have to do a lot with it um, at the moment. You could set your gravity to some different things if you're um, wanting it to be harder to take off and the gravity, different aspects, but we might look at that in another tutorial. So if I click off that, we're going to actually look at behaviors today. So at the top here, you can see the little arrow here says behaviors, and we're going to hit the plus. And down the bottom, if you scroll down, you can see custom. So I'm going to call this, um, uh, we won't call it anything at the moment. First thing we need to do, what's the trigger going to be? So for this one, we're going to tap it, and we're going to say tap. So when the actual plane is tapped, and what it will do is ask for, well, what object do you want to tap? So you just tap, you can see my plane's gone green and we press done. So now it's got one affected object, it's on a tap. And now the action sequence, we say, okay, what do we want to happen? So for this one, what we actually want to do is there's some beautiful animations built into this plane. So we want to do USDZ animation. Now the USDZ is actually the, the file type um, for Reality Composer. So we're going to select that. And you can see there, um, we still need to choose, um, it says what objects, that's okay. Alliterations, we can actually make them go for a little while. So let's make that go for about um, maybe uh, 15 or so seconds. And what the animation is actually just the um, propeller going round and round. So if we actually test that, and testing is always good, we press the play button at the top. So if I tap it now, you can see it kind of hovers a little bit. Um, and the propeller goes, I can kind of swing it around, you can kind of see it. So that's looking really, really good. And that'll go for about 15 seconds. Um, if I now press the stop and we go back to our behaviors, we need to set one more behavior. So let's go one more behavior. Um, we want it on uh, a custom as well. We'll have it on tap as well. So it's the same thing. We need to tap the object again, press done. And this time with our action sequence, we're actually going to do a move. So for this one, we actually want it to move a certain. Now, if I pinch the screen and kind of scroll out, you can see where it's gone. I actually want this to go straight away. So it's just a case of with one finger dragging where you want it to go. So that's about 2.3 meters. And I also want it to raise um, significantly. And so you can see there it's raising as well. So that's pretty good. Let's zoom out and have a look at that, how that might look. Um, and we want that going for about oh, 15 seconds. So the same as the propeller and the actual animation. So if I actually zoom out here, let's get our behaviors off and let's look here. When I press play, you can see it's kind of hovering and then it'll actually run and you can actually see it's taking off and it's going to that certain distance. So we've got two behaviors We've got one with the propeller going and the other one actually moving it to where it's actually going to go. And then that's basically it. Um, 
basically what we can do is up the top here, we can press AR, we can find a spot outside, move your iPad around a little, and it should come to the extent of, we're actually kind of replaying what this is here. So you can see their little takeoff as, as well. And we can place it on a, on a path, which is great to connect with the outside world, uh, get kids outside with little uh, runways and takeoffs and different things, um, but really, really simple to do. And so that's just a really simple tutorial looking at behaviors. And I've got two behaviors there, um, really, really easy to do uh, in regard to the different aspects of it. And you can name your behaviors if you want, and you can increase on them. So you can actually go from one to another. So that was a little plane takeoff uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope the kids and teachers get out there and start creating some AR experiences. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.